Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we continue with this battle here. The reason I'm doing this, it's basically because, um, yeah, I wasn't lucky. Well, it's not lucky, that's, I, I was, what I'm trying to say is I, I, I jumped, I jumped to conclusions. Let's see what I can do about that little guy over there. 71% chance to hit. That is kind of terrible. Let's see what I can do about this one. Not much. Not much. I can't... Mm, let's not... Let's not do that. Oh, that was, I think, a waste of... Actually, no, it wasn't. Good, good, good. Okay. So, the reason is... Remember, we got a... Um, like a track, a robot track or whatever. Last episode, and I thought that was the robot track for the robot that is in the... Uh, Red Scorpion's prison. Yeah. Turns out, that is not the case. That is not the robot track that we need. We need something else. I don't know where it is. I thought it was that, but I, I, I don't know where it is. Uh, so let's see what I can do here. What, what I'm gonna try and do is gonna try and hobble this guy because he's pretty easy to hit. So if I, that's the mobility. Uh, let's see with that one. A critical and hobbled motor. Okay, so as long as I can keep him out of my hair, I think it's gonna be fine. This little guy is gonna be a problem. I actually tried this strategy once before on camera, and I, I died. And now I'm a little bit better because I'm, no, I'm a little bit better equipped, I should say. Because the reason is, um, well, I've already killed one of the killers. Uh, so the killers are these guys, and they deal a lot of damage. They can kill you in two turns if you let them, and that is very, very bad. But we do need to focus on that guy first because he, de he deals way more damage. Okay, that is oh, nice. I mean, it's not the perfect ambush, but for right now, I think that's what we have. And the reason is... The, the, thing is, I killed, I managed to kill that guy with this strategy, so my strategy is basically to kite them, uh, and basically to spread everyone out, so we take as little damage as possible, but uh, with this strategy, I was able to kill him, but the problem was that when he dies, he blows up with a huge explosion, so he is a tough bastard, and uh, it is gonna be very, very hard to kill him, I'm not sure I can do this on this run, Hopefully I can. Okay, there's the disco bot. That guy is really persistent. And this guy is gonna. These guys are gonna. Sh and damn it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna need to. Re yeah, the problem is Diego died. That's real issue because he dies there. And now I need to get out of here. And I need to uh, shoot that guy again. Let's hope that I hit. I need damage. I hit. Okay, so that's good. But he's gonna. I'm not sure if he's gonna attack. He is. No, he's not. Good. Okay, so we get no. Oh, uh, that was fine. That was fine, actually. That was pretty cool. Okay, so we need to spread out. I mean, back here, it's actually not that bad, because if he dies here, he's not gonna kill Diego, I don't think. So maybe, maybe I'm gonna stay here, but he's gonna deal so much damage that it's not a good idea. Uh, and besides, I need truth out of this place, uh, and I do need Azahel to survive. So let's bring her there, and uh, I'm gonna forego that attack there. Okay, that was a critical. That offset it a little bit. Uh, let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can hit the servos again. I know that deals less damage. And there he goes. Okay, so these guys are gonna be a little bit of an issue. 38 damage right there. Reloaded. Let's see what they do. As long as... What the hell? Oh, what? game. Don't freak out. Okay, so that's damage. It's some damage, and the slicer field is really the big deal because it removes action points. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, so we can keep keeping, keep on attacking this guy. Oh! Balls. Okay, so I need, I really need, I really need to keep on attacking him. Okay, that's good. Now you, uh, just kill him. Kill him, please. It's very unlikely, but almost there! Almost there. I think Rose is gonna be able to kill him. Uh, let's see. Should it? Ow, oh, come on! Really? Are you really gonna be like that? Well, on the good thing, uh, good side of things, he is... Oh boy, that is... That would be... Oh. Yeah, see that amount of damage? That is a lot of damage right there, and we really need to keep Rose alive. Oh, because these guys are very, very problematic. So what I'm gonna try and do is shoot that guy with this weapon and miss. Fantastic. RNG Jesus. RNG Jesus. <sighs> okay, so let's keep... Yeah, Rose really needs to survive, otherwise we're dead. Diego is the only one that uh, that has the uh, 
Viago is the only one that has surgeon skill because of that trinket that he has. So yeah, uh, if if Rose doesn't survive, we're toast. Oh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. Good for you, Truth. Good for you. Okay, let's see what Rose can do. She should be able to kill this guy, and she will. And there we go. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. 150 experience. And yeah, must must not forget. Must not forget. I don't have. Oh, I do have this thing. Let's take care of him uh, with a basic trauma kit. Yeah, that's more than enough. And we leveled up as well. That was not bad. That was not bad. I, I healed everyone up before the, the battle. Whoo hoo! This was a, a close one. You didn't see the beginning of the battle because I, I the issue with this battle is that you need to save scum a little bit because what you didn't see basically was truth headshotting with one kill one hit kill one shot kill one of these killers and uh yeah so copy echo one congratulations echo. that's what i did off camera and uh, i don't uh, really they don't really want to in, in, uh, impose that on you just me reloading a bunch of times but basically if you want to do this strategy you can do it you, you might not succeed at the first try but you definitely can do it. You got a hard drive, that's junk. We got a bent raider, that's junk as well. Got broken barrel. There's a lot of junk in these robots. A lot of junk that doesn't really <laughs> pay all that much and it's heavy as hell. So, I know there's another one of these, but uh Well, I think my I think our problem I think our problem hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I I uh, well, there's somebody there. Who the hell is that? I saw that on the map. I saw that on the map uh, in between episodes. Who the hell? Cowboys? Okay, there's people there. That's good news. Can I enter through here? What? What? How do I go there? Yeah, but I, I think our problem really is not the lack of skill. I think our problem is the lack of firepower, really. Because, uh, yeah, we were not dealing as much damage. We need energy weapons. That's what we need. We need somebody that... That's good at energy weapons, and I'm really betting that on, on, on the possibility that there's somebody here that is that. So this is the killer that I killed uh, before I started the episode. Broken optics. Besides, let me see. So let me see. See, this is the Octotone Continuous Tracks. That is not it. That is not it. This is just something that I don't need. So let's see who else has that. As anything of the sort, I mean, uh, no, nobody? Okay. Okay, nobody has any tracks here, but maybe we'll find them. Hopefully we will, because I want to go to the prison <laughs> again. The history of Davis Mon and uh, something or other. Let's see. Pocket protector? What is that? Is it like, like, a, like a screen for your... You can't find the pocket this was supposed to protect. Oh, I know what that is. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's read this one. History of the Davis Mothen Air Force Base. Huh. In 1953, the first jets came to DM. In the fo oh, this was a Air Force Base, huh? Okay. Air Division activated and there's a DM. I wonder if the Monta comes from that. The uh, uh, maybe, maybe. It probably says that in the book or something. Let's keep looking around. There's more dead people here. Something terrible happened here. I was I was hoping that this city was, would be good for me. But alas, it was not meant to be. So let's take that, take that. Let's see what we have here. Well, with that slicer dicer out of the way, things are getting a little bit better, I think. I hear stuff this side of, of the map. That is not good. Oh, a long barrel. Very good, very good. Okay, so Diego needs that. Distribute everybody else's. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, so this way, I think this will lead. Oh, jet view, vote, vote T. What the hell? Oh, motel, jet view motel. Oh, I no. Nah. A corpse in a cowboy hat lies in the parking lot, surrounded by a bunch of dead robots. The corpse still grips a pistol in each end. Bad guy, this guy. He died. He went down fighting. At least, at least. Hopefully the. Robots are not gonna come back up because they used to, some. Sometimes they do that. You recognize that corpse? It's Howdy, the surly cowboy who guarded Jill Yates' cattle. Look like looks like he died making a last stand. If he's here, then where are Jill and Doc? Well, I don't know. Yeah, they did come here. I remember. Because a lot of people told me about the Monta, how good it was. It, it's not not looking that good. 
Okay, let's... Uh, I, I can't open this. Can I go in there? No robots? That's very good. And in here, we got 76% chance to succeed. That's pretty awesome. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, isn't Rose's... Uh, doesn't... Oh, there it is. Critical success. Uh, outdoorsman. Good. I don't need that, but sure. Whatever. Let's go with that. I, mean, I don't need that because I have another one. Uh, that's all. That's all it really, bo uh, it, it really boils down to, so... Okay, we got a trader here. They got people. Yeah, there's Cowboy and Bart. Who's there? If it's robots, I still got enough juice to blow your gaskets through your manifolds. Hey, Jill, it's me! We're, it's the Desert Rangers. Rangers, hallelujah. Bartholomew, help Doc let them in. Howdy, Rangers. Good to lay eyes on you. Good to see you as well, Jill. Good to see you as well. I mean, I thought you guys were dead. I really did. <laughs> I really did. I maybe maybe I should have known that this guy. Who was it? I think this guy is called Bart or something. Or is is it somebody? Some one of these guys is called Bart. I just don't know who. But I saw that on the map. Actually, let's look. Cowboy, cowboy. That's guy. That's the guy here. This guy over here is called Bart. And I don't think he was in with the uh, with the caravan though. That I, when I, when we found these guys before. Let's have a chat with Jill. I swear, Rangers. Every time you see us, we're in a peck of trouble. It's plain embarrassing. Yeah, well, what's the trouble this time? Should have known something was up as soon as we got in. The place was like a ghost town. And all of a sudden, robots everywhere. Yeah, I saw that. I'm afraid Howdy sacrificed his life, giving us time to hide. And even that wasn't enough. Big tin bastard got in before we could close the door and killed two of my boys before we put them down. Got me pretty good, too. Thank God Doc didn't get hurt this time. Yep. And top all of that, we lost the cattle, which makes us dead and broke. Yeah, I'm sorry about Howdy. I know he was an ornery cuss, but he was as loyal and stalwart a cowboy who ever... Who... Sorry. <laughs> I gotta dab my eye a minute. I'm gonna miss that boy. So what happened to your cattle? The herd scattered when them robots attacked, and without him, this trip's a total loss. Say... I don't suppose you folks be willing to help us out again. We need to get them cattle back so we can sell them somewhere else. Doc and me ain't up to the task, and Bart here, well, <laughs> it's too dangerous a job for one man. If you could take him with you till you come across the herd, I'd be mighty obliged. He can get him back on his own, but hunting for him in a robot-infested town? Hmm. I don't want another young man's life on my conscience. Savvy? Sure. Okay, we'll keep an eye out. out. Sorry. We'll keep an eye out. And Bart is welcome to come along. We can always use more hands. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. And you'll like Bart. He may not have much to say, but he's a crack shot. Good. So where did the robots come from? The airplane graveyard. We used to go out there for a picnic when we come into town and look at all them metal fellas lying around. Now they ain't lying around no more. I don't know what it's all about. We've been hearing screams and gunfire coming from all over. Seems they're on a rampage. Yeah, they are on a rampage for sure. Adios, Rangers. See you later, Jill. See you later. Uh, I got Doc here. Hi, Doc. Howdy, Rangers. Thanks again for helping in the canyon. Want to trade? Got a little extra. We'll need, we'll need the scrap if we can find our cows. Sure, I got a bunch of crap here. Mads mainly. Okay, so I will sell all my junk. Do that. Oh boy. Nope, that is not. Although he's a doctor, maybe you will use that as a prosthetic or something. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. See, this is junk. This does not is not needed. So what I'm gonna buy, what am I really gonna buy? I could, guys, oh, these are very expensive though. I think that's 10, so yeah, that's not it's not profitable to buy them and then sell them later. So I don't think I really need anything, although these do look cool. But they, just for 10 to 20 constitution, they can be used in combat for very easily, so... Eh, eh. Anyway, I, I don't use those. So, see you later, Doc. Happy trails, partners. Happy trails. So, this is the robot. Looks like Claptrap. I haven't seen one of these guys before. I don't think. Might be wrong on that one. A corpse in a cowboy hat lies in a parking lot. Yes, I know it does. Shut up. It's Howdy. So, there's nothing here for me? Okay, nothing here for me it is. Let's get out of here then. We're looking for cows then. <laughs> We're looking for cows. I don't know where they are going to be though. That's kind of a... 
an interesting thing that we got ourselves into, but that's fine. We have we have something to do here, and let me save the game it's, again. I always need to look down at the keyboard so I don't mistake and, and just quick load or something. Um, so, where are we and where do we want to go? This is the nightclub. Yeah, I, wanna, I saw that, but I also saw that there's a slice of dice around there. So let's keep going to the left instead. How about that? Is that is, does that sound like a good plan to you? I hope it does, because it sounds like any any other plan to me. Anyway, we got a little bit of an Aprilia over there, a camper van. Hey! Up there! Up here, he says. The nose of a giant airplane looms above you, pointing into the air at the shallow angle like the barrel of a cannon. The windows of the cockpit are, the cockpit are smashed out, as and as you get closer, you see a guy waving at you from it. Where the hell is this airplane, though? I don't see it. Oh. Wait a minute, is this an airplane? Man, this thing is huge. Okay, uh... Hi? Can I can I get up there or something? Rad Bychowski. I know this guy. Pretty sure I know that name. You recognize that ugly face? It's Rad, the scrap metal... Oh, it's the Rad! Oh, it's Rad, the guy that sold us... Or didn't sold us. Uh, that, that arranged us um, a way to... Um, to get the radiation suits. I'm so desperate I'll even ask Rangers for help. Came up here looking for salvage and a bunch of robots came in behind me. I barricaded myself in, but they ain't leaving. Can you help a fellow out? No problem, stay put. Fantastic. There's a door down the by the tail. You're gonna have to fight out your way through, but I got a line on some great cargo if you make it. Okay, well, if it's not another slice of dicer, I am fine with it. Actually I think it that it might not be what wait a minute. Why didn't I go there before? I didn't see that. Wait a minute, that's... I can't go there. Okay, that makes sense. So I need to go all the way around. And I need to find my way through as well. Meh, fantastic. Well, as long as it, uh, as long as it's killers and uh, octobots... Oct octobots. Yeah, I know, I know. The door's by the tail. Shut up. Let me just make sure I scout this properly, because... Because otherwise, uh, bad things might happen. Let's see what I can do here. Nah, too bad. Sharply constructed wall, still not possible to break down with our current level of uh, brute force. Ah. Hmm. This is a big plane here. It's a big plane, and I don't really see any robots, which doesn't really give me any confidence as to what's about to happen. If I'm honest. I hear stuff, though. But apparently. There's nothing here. Good. A gigantic plane lies on the mound of junk. It's missing its wings, and its nose is steeped up into the air at a shallow angle, while its tail is buried in trash. One of the back doors is open. Let's go in there, then. We're, are, we're, are we going to be safe in here? We are. Pretty cool. Look at this. This should be... This probably is like an Air Force plane. Oh, this is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh no 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 this is what he meant This is what he meant by fighting our way through that is well hopefully Bard over there is gonna do his thing because we got a disco bot and a couple of killers let's see what it can do we can definitely take over we should be fine here I'm gonna save the game and I'm gonna take my shot here 84% chance to hit that's pretty good let's go with the killer Okay, 34 damage is terrible. Hopefully they are alone. Uh, I will be able to take a shot here. Let's see what I can do to the disco bot. Not much. Okay, so let's take out the killers first. Ow, almost. Come on. That was just unlucky. There's another one there. Oh, that's an octobot, I think. Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad. No, no, no. Okay, so first things first, we need to take out the disco bot because... That guy just loves to party. He just loves to party. I ain't, ain't nobody got time for that right now. Let's uh, let's try and deal with it. Actually, I could shoot with a sniper rifle first. That's probably going to be a better solution. No, not you. Shut up. This guy. Okay, so what's the... Oh, I know, I know. Uh, what's the heat chance? 65. Okay, so I should be able to kill him with two shots. I should, but I might not. He's immune to burn. Okay, it's fine. I just... No! no! Damn it! And I got a lucky AP as well. God damn it, I pressed the wrong key. Come on. What a dumbass I am. I pressed space because I, for some reason, I, I don't know. I don't know why I pressed space. It's 
I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we get, we're gonna get a little bit luckier. And probably not, though. No, we are. Good, good, good. Okay, so no space. Kill that thing. And no kill. Okay, that's not good. So I should be able to kill him nonetheless with the next shot. Oh, that was good. Okay, so he's gonna... Yeah, he's gonna bring us all up into the sky. <laughs> yeah, and now we have a Thresher Claw. Okay, so this is the guy that killed the other guys. Remember, th this was the guy that was inside. Okay, so I have a chance to shoot him from here, which is pretty good. But I also want to take care of this guy. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I probably want to deal with that first and foremost. Uh, yes. I think. Okay, double hit. That was good. And now I need to take cover back here. Because these killers are still on the run and they're gonna take their shots right now, I think. No, maybe not. Oh, is he blocking the path? I hope he's blocking the path. He's probably not, though. What? Oh, it was barred. I thought, uh, yeah. I thought for a moment that it, w it had been, uh, that it had been, um... I, I really need to stay back here. That it had been rose that went uh, crazy or something. So let's see. I need to kill the killer. And uh, no, I need to kill this guy first. Oh, that was good. So let's bring her back. And now I need you. Yeah, you're fine. Go with an ambush. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, he's blocking the path. That's very good. Okay, so I should be able to kill him. Uh, I'm not going to kill him right now. Now I'm gonna kill that guy, and now, uh, there's no real point of shooting at him, but I will do it anyway. I shouldn't have done that. I should, I should have used the other weapon, because now I can attack with this one. But I should have used that one on the other one. That, that doesn't matter. And there it is. Okay, so it was a good thing. This, this turned out for the better, and uh, we are now gonna win, I think. What? This guy sounds like a... Oh, yeah, it's the... Like the uh, they do that sometimes. Not a zombie. Not a zombie. Um, let's kill that thing, and we're good to go. Thank you, Bart. Your help has been invaluable, if I do say so myself. And I do. And I do. So let's see. Everybody's got their weapons reloaded. We didn't take that much damage, so that was good. Over here, we got optical eye. We got a bunch of crap, and a bunch of crap, and a, that's broken optics. Don't need that. Let's keep going then. Let me save the game as well. And uh, keep going. So, fighting robots like a pro that I am right now. Good. But this plane is too big. This is too big. Rangers, that you? Hold on. Let me unlock the door. Thanks, Rangers. Thought I was done for. Yeah, you were. But now you're not. Don't know why I should trust you after you jerked my brother Rick around, but here's the deal. I came up here to get a bird's eye view, because I was looking for something. I didn't see it, but I know it's somewhere in the graveyard. An old scavenger told me there's a hidden treasure, and all I had to do was find a plane with the word Sierra Madre Air Freight painted on the side. In that plane is the treasure. Now, I was planned on looking for it myself, but with all these crazy robots running around killing folks, I could use a little extra firepower. What do you say? I hook up with you and find it, and we make it uh, an even split between us? Sounds like a deal? Oh, sure. Sounds like a fair deal. Great. Then let's get to looking. Uh, we got a place. Oh, we got a lot of places to look for. We got a lot of ground cover. I yeah. trust that man as far as I can throw him. Which is not very far, I suppose. Uh, that uh, isn't that actually a saying. I think that it is. But it's gonna follow us. So we have two followers for right now. I mean, that's fine. I I need the help. Uh, it's the good thing. Uh, it's a good thing. Actually, there's nothing here for us. So yeah, I, I was kind of hoping that I, maybe I, I would find the uh, the tracks that I need for the robot. But alas, it was not to be. Anyway, we're getting experience. We are gaining uh, knowledge of this place. Where the hell am I right now? I am back here. Why am I lost? Oh, because I'm not looking north anymore. Okay, that's fine. Let's go this way. I think this is where the slicer dicer is. So, the other slice of dicer. I thought he was a boss, the other one, but nope. He's not a boss. Unless he was, and he somehow saw me there as well for some reason, and I might be confused. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Okay, let's do this properly. Let's do this properly. It should be fine. So, as long as I can keep truth here, 
and not kill herself first. Uh, not have her die, I mean. Uh, let's see what I can do. No, 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 don't go away. Oh, he's out of range. There you go. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so as long as Truth survives and keeps sniping them, uh, I should be fine, but I'm not sure. There we go. That was lucky, actually. That was pretty lucky. So I'm not sure that guy's going to be able to uh, reach us in a single turn. I'm pretty sure he's very slow. Let's see. Do we have information on that? Wait a minute. I think that thing... I think that 30 to 35 is the damage that they do, not the damage that I do. Hmm. Okay. Well, I was mistaken, I think. But we'll see. Okay, so if we actually... If I... Hmm. Right, let's get up after that one. Don't kill your friends. Thank you. Let's get up. And we'll move next turn. Thank you for not killing my friends. That was good. That was good. Okay, so if I bring you here, you can... Can you shoot from there? You can. Good. Okay. Wasn't perfect, but it was good. And yeah, now it's dead. I knew you'd get bored and fuck off eventually, you metal motherfucker. Look who it is, the werewolf. The guy on the, on, the, on the radio, remember? The same guy with a voice actor that uh, that voices General Vargas, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, it sounded very much like General Vargas over there. So let's see what this is. Threshing clover hydraulic cylinder. What is that? It's junk. And nothing else. There's something there, though. I wonder what the... Oh, this is the tower! This is the tower! Good, good, good. Let me save the game and let's have a chat with this guy. Oh, so he uses the tower for the radio. That makes sense. Let's take that. Oh, what's that? Cape Pal playlist for Monday. Oh. Rose is too far away. Shit. I wanted to see that. Under the lacy shadows of the radio tower sits a square windowless cylinder block building with a metal door in the front. Crooked and unlit neon letters spell out the, ra the station's call sign on the roof. K-P-O-O. Cape Pal. Underneath, in fading paint, is written, We are number one with a bullet. What? What does that? What does it? I don't even know. Anyway, let's see. Let's see what this guy's all... Oh! Okay, so are you not gonna talk with me? Hello? Oh, I need to converse through this thing. Well, you know what? Uh, I kind of... No, I don't. I, I kind of wanted to uh, to lockpick that, but I'm not gonna do that, because I can't, unfortunately. What the... did, did one of you robots figure out the intercom? Um... Well, you can't come in. Not by the hair of my chitty chin chin. Unless I hear a human hello, I ain't opening the door. Uh, hello? Wait a minute, that sounded awfully real. Who's out there? Uh, it's the Desert Rangers. We're here to help. Rangers? What are Rangers doing this far east? Huh, who the fuck cares? If you killed those robots, you are my new best friends. Come in, come in. What's happening with all these robots? I said come in. I know you said come in. I'm just mocking you. Shut up. Um, let's look at this thing, though. Can I go there? No, it's locked. Okay. So let's have a chat with this guy. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to have a chat with him next time. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.